This short screencast is showing you how to uh, do your end of semester reports in management and where you have to go and how you print your draft copies for your buddy check. So once you log into ManageBack, you need to go to your classes. So I'll grab my year 12 classes, this is a SACE class. Um, and what we want to go to is to go to our mark book section. So I click on assignments. Then I come to where my grade book is and I want to come to my submit term grade section. So when I click on that, what will come up will be my submit term grade section. This section cannot be seen by students or parents. So you can start writing comments in it as soon as you like um, because this is never accessible to them. So what you see is the, the students names will come up and as you see I've typed in a comment. I still have to enter a grade in here. It will base uh, Manager back will show you where they're sitting at the moment and what the average is and then you can make a call of what the grade you want. I also then have to do a learning approach, which I can do like that, and it will process it as we go. So I'll just put a grade in here like this. I'll probably come through and change this later. I've come into here and I can write my comments uh, like I normally would, uh, as you normally would in Accelerus. If you want to put paragraphs, you can as well. And then once you've done one student, you can just move on down to the next student like that, so you keep on going through. So that is how you type in your grades, uh, type in your grade and type in your comment uh, for a SACE class. If, when you come to do your buddy check, what you need to do is you need to export your term grades. So on the right hand side over here, there's an export term grade section. When you click on that, what happens is it'll download a copy of your term grades. Once it's downloaded, you can double click on it and open it up. And what it will do is it will open up for you a spreadsheet that shows you the student's name, the grade they've got, their learning approach, and then your comment. And you can just click on that comment um, to see what it says. Or what I would tend to do, because your buddy is going to read this, is I would then drag open that comment section. So I've just come, come to the top with my little mouse and drag that section over. I would then highlight all those uh, cells there and just come up here to wrap text. And that will then wrap the text around. So when you drag down here, you can see the comment there. You may just want to share your uh, comments via email with your buddy so they can go through and check it. But uh, sometimes for a buddy check, it's easier for them just to be able to read through it and make the, the, the changes on the hard copy here and hand the hard copy back to you. So you have to do that for each of your classes that you teach um, and the buddy will check them, give them back to you and then you enter them in to uh, manage back uh, by the due date. If you are doing a middle years class, the same process applies. I'll come to classes, I'll grab my middle years class Go to my submit term grade section. As this is a trial class, you'll see there's no, uh, there's only one student in it. But the same process goes. I enter my comments in here, and then the sum and the learning approach will be done off of here. So I will look at this and go, okay, that should be a five, that should be a three, that should be a four, and this one over here should be a five. I'm making the judgment based on the results that are here. That have come through over the semester. I've got to also do the learning approach, which I can, um, and then type in my comment here. If you come to this page and you can't see the comments, the comment section for your students, you will need to come up to the top here and check this box. If I uncheck it, notice that the comment box disappears. If I check it again, the comment box reappears. Once again, this section here, the submit term grade section, cannot be seen by students or parents. So you can start entering your comments now. Once again, to um, uh, I've written much comment there. To once I have done that, I can export my term grades using the same process as before. So I go export term grades. Open that up, it'll come up in a spreadsheet, and you'll notice that they have the names and everything there and the comment as well. 
you can then extend that and maybe wrap the text so when you print it out that uh, the person can see it. So that is the process that you use to produce your reports at the end of the semester um, and this will be replicated at the end of the year.